I say the name Tanner Burns, what's the first thing that you think of? Well, the first thing that pops into my mind is his renowned taxidermy work on wild turkeys. But beyond that, on a personal level, I don't think you're gonna find a better turkey hunter and more humble guy than Tanner. But the cool thing is, you know, kind of knowing him personally, he's he's a he's not a purist turkey hunter, which I think in today's age everybody's worried about calling and calling competitions and Tanner just hunts turkeys for the passion of hunting turkeys. Tanner Burns is one of the greatest wild turkey taxidermists in the world. You should go over and check out his Whitetail Cribs video. Tanner single-handedly changed the way I'll look at turkey hunting forever. He's passionate and as humble as they come, but when Tanner's in the woods, it's a bad day to be a turkey. Tanner Burns may not be a name you're familiar with, but I'm willing to bet that after this video, you will not forget his name. Tanner is a full-time school teacher in Buckhannon, West Virginia, and runs a taxidermy studio called Full Draw Taxidermy, where he specializes in wild turkey taxidermy. Tanner's passion for hunting is in the turkey woods. As a young boy, he spent his time chasing turkeys in the eastern panhandle of West Virginia. But his passion for traveling to turkey hunt wasn't sparked until high school when his gym teachers invited him on an Alabama public land turkey hunt in the spring of 2012. I think the stars had aligned for, for me to start traveling and turkey hunting because that was the that was the spring of 2012 and for anybody that's listening to this if you're a southerner if you know anything about the spring of 2012 it was one for the books while at camp in 2012 tanner was introduced to a man named kenny mount or you may better know him as chubbs from the Penhody project kenny took tanner hunting that week and they had a successful hunt in alabama landing tanner his first out-of-state turkey all right guys uh I'm Tanner Burns, full draw taxidermy in Buckhannon, West Virginia. We're going to show you how to prep a turkey for a mount if you're on the road or if you ever need to mail one to us. For many springs to follow, Tanner and Kenny would make a trip out west to turkey hunt, working towards Kenny's U.S. Super Slam, and before he knew it, Tanner was 10 states deep. The following spring, Tanner decided that he would pursue his very own U.S. Super Slam. For Tanner, Chubbs is the reason he has had so much success in the turkey woods. Tanner says, he's even like a dad to me. Uh, we were on a trip in New Mexico, and I, I'd been getting my butt kicked by the turkeys for probably two or three days. And it was during the first week of West Virginia season, and I was, you know, just being a little girl about it. And I was like, man, you know, if I was in West Virginia, I'd be killing turkeys right now. And he just kind of snapped back at me and said, you know, anybody can kill turkeys in the same state every year. He's like, you want to be a good turkey hunter? You go to a new state with a couple days and show, you know, that'll see what you're made of. And when he said that, man, I got to thinking about it, and he was right. And I ended up sorting things out in New Mexico uh, soon after that, and we went to Colorado. But I think at the end of that trip, I had 10 states, and I made my mind up that off-season that I was going to hit it hard. As you can imagine, a turkey taxidermist, a teacher, and a man pursuing the U.S. Super Slam is a very busy man come springtime. But we were able to catch up with him before a season kicked off in 2020. Hey, hey, come on in, guys. Welcome to the shop slash crib here. Okay, my name's Tanner Burns. I'm the owner of Full Draw Taxidermy in Buckhannon, West Virginia. And I guess you could say I have a little bit of a turkey obsession. We featured Tanner as a guest on Whitetail Cribs, which is one of my personal favorite episodes to date. And after filming, we were able to record a trail cam radio podcast with him to learn more about his story. All right, we are, we are live. We are in the shop with... Oh my gosh, uh, Tanner Burns. <laughs> I had a br little, little brain fart there. I got it. Hey, we just met, man. I hold it against you. Yeah, it's only been an hour. <laughs> uh, full, 
Full draw taxidermy. Full draw taxidermy. And we are somewhere in near Buckinnon, West Virginia. Yeah, we're about three miles outside of town. I think yeah. we're still in uh, the city limits, close to it. And let me tell you, this guy has a shop full of some pretty awesome stuff. The U.S. Super Slam takes a lot of work, a lot of time, and a lot of planning. Tanner says he would hunt six to eight states each spring. He even had one spring where he hunted 11 states in a single season. All while holding a full-time teaching job and doing taxidermy. You may be wondering, how is that even possible? Well, let's hear it from Tanner himself. You know, because a lot of them, it's not, like, uh, it's not like I've taken a lot of vacation to do this. A lot of these are weekend trips. Because I'm a school teacher, I don't have a whole lot of time off. I have days that I can use. And we have a spring break and things like that. But really, besides our spring break, I can take a Friday or a Monday off here and there. Uh, so these are all weekend trips, with the exception of, you know, I usually get two week-long trips in the spring where I can go somewhere. Um, and really, if I get a week off, I'm trying to do three states in a week, uh, ideally. And it's a, it's a lot of... Uh, it's a lot, like I said in the video, it, there's, it's not a leisurely trip. It's you're hitting the ground running from daylight to dark. You're not going out to eat. You're living in the woods. A lot of times you're sleeping in your rental because we're doing it as cheap as possible. We're not hunting with outfitters. Um, and, you know, that's just the, the style that Kenny did it, and that's just the style that I've done it. Tanner got started in taxidermy by boiling skulls and doing euro mounts on the side while he was in high school and throughout college. In between his undergrad and master's for teaching, Tanner went to taxidermy school in Thompson Falls, Montana, where his life almost completely changed. I almost stayed out there. I remember calling my mom once and telling her I wasn't come back to, to finish my master's, and she informed me that that was not the case. I was coming <laughs> I was coming back, and I was finishing my master's, and God, thank, I'm glad she talked me out of that because that would have been bad to be a gypsy in Montana for a couple years. Going to taxidermy school turned out to be a great move for Tanner and is no longer just a side hustle. Tanner is one of the best turkey taxidermists in the country, hands down. In 2019, he placed first in the NWTF professional division. And in 2020, he had a second place finish in the NWTF master's division. At the time of the Trail Cam Radio podcast, Tanner was just 29 years old. He had completed 42 of the 49 states needed for the U.S. Super Slam. On pace to be the youngest to ever complete all 49 states. In the spring of 2020, Tanner was able to fill six of the last seven states, leaving only Hawaii for the now 30-year-old to complete his U.S. Super Slam in 2021. In February of 2021, Tanner Burns completed the U.S. Super Slam in epic fashion. Not only did it come in Hawaii, on a volcano, and filmed for the Pinhoti Project, but he took an all-white longbeard as his last bird of the slam. I don't know how it gets any better than that. Wow. He's <laughs> I mean, what do you do now? I don't know. You just killed the 49th state on a volcano in Hawaii in driving rain, and it's a white t gobbler. I feel like I don't deserve it, man. I wish I could just bottle this up and do, just stay here for a couple months right now. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. I mean, I, I was pretty high strung about it. We got some damn celebrating to do. Tanner, from everyone here at Exodus, we just want to say congratulations on completing your U.S. Super Slam and thank you for sharing your passion for the wild turkey with us.